guys, it's Alicia backstage with In Focus Entertainment. You literally just got off the stage and we're in your dressing room, so it doesn't get much more backstage than this. And I'm sitting here with Haley Reinhardt from American Idol, third place. How has life changed since that amazing project and endeavor of yours? I mean, dramatically, uh, everything. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here right now. Um, I've really just taken taking the high life and, and it's, just, it's just been life in the fast lane ever since so we're on the road constantly doing different kind of events and gigs and promo touring for radio and you know it's a dream come true for me your voice is a dream come true i was such a fan watching the show i'm not even gonna sugarcoat anything you're definitely one of my favorites aside from life changing you are obviously in the studio and you're out recording live what do you think is the difference between being in the studio and recording live like today i think there's really a lot of authenticity about, you know, each of those things. Um, for me, it comes really natural performing live, um, and it's a, it's a whole different beast being in the studio with different people mm -hmm. and trying to, you know, be on the same level with each other. But uh, once you get into that groove in the studio as well, you can really just get in there and, and find things out about your voice and, and about yourself that you never knew and uh, that really does go both ways so I do see a lot of similarities totally. you know. I feel like you're very wise beyond your years and you just turned 22 last month if I got that correct. What do you do to celebrate your birthday and don't don't cover anything up, tell the truth. Oh yeah <laughs> um, I was going to say Vegas but I took my, it was my girlfriend's birthday for that. Uh, I was in Chicago my hometown, had a blast, just hung out with the, with the goons you know and uh, yeah backstage in your life so now let's talk about post american idol what do we have coming up in your future now you just launched your new album listen up yeah. what's your favorite song on the album um, kind of like changes daily just because my mood changes and i really like um keep coming back oh my i performed out here That's and you wrote them all yeah i got to co-write everything except for my first single free but um i recorded that on the road mm -hmm. with the idols so yeah it's been good and your voice is so timeless so i feel like you're so much more mature than most 22 year olds so i want to know what's on your ipod right now like if i had to go if i were to scroll through your ipod see the top five music that you play what are those probably uh you could be a little bit right about that uh sly and the family stone and the beatles and led zeppelin and you know we'll sneak in some janelle monet in there and you know, some jazz, Esperanza. Well, it's very obvious that you were born to sing. I mean, I just heard you right now, amazing voice, and I've been a fan for a while. But if you weren't a singer, if you weren't an artist, mm -hmm. what would Haley be doing with her life? Um, zookeeper. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I just watched Water for Elephants. It popped in my head. But uh, I don't know. I really love to help people out. So I think, you know, it'd be cool to be a motivational speaker. I'd still be speaking and enlightening hopefully in some sense or maybe just like a counselor or something like that. Awesome. Beauty and Brains. Well obviously thank you so much. This is a great project that we're so happy that you're a part of. In Focus Entertainment. Honored to work with you. We wish you the best of luck.